Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. Um, it is June the 15th, 2018. Uh, Central Standard Time, approximately 2.15 or so in the afternoon. Um, I got a couple of articles here that I need to read to y'all, okay? <laughs> I'm probably not going to read the whole articles, but you're going to get the gist of it and the wording and uh, stuff. Um, wow. <laughs> their new world order just marching right along with their one world religion, okay? We will not be deceived. No, we will not. Okay, this came out um, yesterday, I believe, okay? Uh, on the 14th. I had to go back through here and find it again. Came out of Ynet News. You can go read it for yourself. Uh, titled, Netanyahu meets with leader of Indonesia's largest Muslim organization. Yahya uh, Stakuf, Secretary General of the 60 million member um, Nadlatul Ulama holds an unexpected meeting with the Israeli Premier Netanyahu. Tells him of Israel's warming ties with Muslim countries, expressing hope that we have some movement with Indonesia. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had an unexpected meeting with the leader of uh, Indonesia's largest Muslim organization on Thursday. Uh, Yahya Stakuf, Secretary General of the 60 million member uh, Nadlatul Ulama, is visiting Israel at the invitation of the American Jewish Committee a U.S. advocacy group. Stakip, an advocate of interfaith coexistence, interfaith coexistence, met with several religious leaders this week. However, the meeting with Netanyahu was not listed on his schedule. I wonder why. Netanyahu boasted of Israel's warming ties with Muslim countries, saying, I hope that we have some movement with Indonesia. Indonesia, the world's largest Muslim country, does not have diplomatic relations with Israel, and support for the Palestinians there is strong. Stakus' presence has triggered angry reactions, as seen on Indonesian social media. Okay, so... Muslims in Indonesia are not happy about this. Well, the Christians in America aren't too pleased with it either, amen? <laughs> wow. Um, Indonesia recently revoked tourist visas for Israeli visitors to protest Israeli actions in Gaza. In response, Israel has threatened to ban tourist visas for Indonesia's. But in an interview, Stakif said he remains committed to the visit and hopes the controversy can bring more attention to his message of tolerance. You know, the divisive, tolerant, diverse uh, coexistence. You know, it's just something else. Some people here are amazed by my decision to come because they think it must be dangerous for this man to come, thinking that many, many Muslims must be threatening him with death or something, Stakif told the Associated Press. Earlier this week, uh, Stakif uh, addressed the American Jewish Committee's conference, appearing alongside a rabbi in his discussion. His schedule also included meetings at Israel's Hebrew University and talks with local Jewish, Christian, and Muslim leaders as well. 
there were no meetings with Israeli politicians listed on his schedule. Stakif said that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not the sole focus of his trip. Instead, he looks at interfaith cooperation as a basis for solving many conflicts, including in Myanmar, where 700,000 Rohingya Muslims have fled persecution by the country's security forces to Bangladesh. Um, we are facing a civilization problem here and it is related to religions, he said. As Muslims, we want to do our part related to our religion. Let's see. Uh, Stakov said he had identified portions of Islam that he considers problematic, including how Muslims interact with non-Muslims. He said there needs to be a new discourse to recognize that Muslims and non-Muslims are equal and should be able to coexist peacefully. It's just enough to make one vomit, y'all. Seriously. Okay. That's enough of that article. Okay. Because <laughs> then we got some new, some new stuff here. And this is just, I was like, what? Seriously? Okay. The battle over Prince William's hotel visit. Okay. Uh, Prince William is supposed to go to Israel. Well, he is going to Israel. June 25th. Okay. I pray to God we're all out of here by then. And something, something just, you know, I, I think, you know, our time here is short. I do. I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is going to snatch us up out of here any moment. Yes, I do. Okay. The Israeli-Palestinian battle over Prince William's uh, hotel visit. Okay. Ten days before the first official visit by a British royal to Israel, Wynet learns the Western Wall will be defined as part of the future king's visit to the Palestinian Authority. Kensington Palace delays the release of the last day's itinerary so as not to create a controversy that would mar the visit. Okay. Uh, as Prince William's visit to Israel approaches, the controversy over his itinerary grows, especially after it turned out that the British Prince's tour of the Western Wall incites wholly to the region's three religions, yes, three religions, will be included in his visit to the Palestinian Authority rather than in his visit to Israel. William, Queen Elizabeth's grandson and second in line to the British throne, will arrive in Israel on June 25th for the first official visit to the Jewish state by a British royal. Okay. Uh, Kensington Palace released the visit's itinerary earlier this week, but chose to include the Duke of Cambridge's tour. Catch this. He will tour the Mount of Olives. Yes, friends, the Mount of Olives in his visit to the PA. The program in the occupied Palestinian territories, occupied Palestinian territories, will begin with a short briefing on the history and geography of Jerusalem's old city from a viewing point at the Mount of Olives. <laughs> the palace said in a statement, adding that the rest of the program for the day will allow His Royal Highness to understand and pay respect to the religions and history of the region. While the palace has yet to announce which sites the prince will visit on the last day, Wynette has learned he plans to visit 
the Temple Mount, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Church of St. John the Baptist, and the Western Wall. As the tours of these sites have been scheduled in advance, it's unclear why Kensington Palace has failed to include them on the official itinerary. Okay. Um, there was, I was thinking maybe there was something else. Um, The Foreign and Commonwealth Office, which plans to visit its itinerary, is afraid to include the Western Wall in the Palestinian Authority leg of the visit, so they are postponing this problematic obstacle and trying to find a solution that will satisfy everyone. And a quote coming out of uh, Western Wall Rabbi Shmuel uh, Rabinovich, meanwhile, appeared unfazed by the visit and by its definitions. Okay? A direct quote from him. I'm not chasing after it. As a religious Jew, I think we don't need recognition that the Western Wall is ours. It's more important to me that a Jewish boy from Britain comes and connects with this place, and in doing so becomes a part of the chain of Jewish generations. I respect the prince, but my job is to pass on the Western Wall's heritage to the future generations. A Jewish boy from Britain. Well, things just keep getting crazier, y'all, you know. Woman travailing in labor. Amen. Birth pains. I mean, you know, I'm going to go to Matthew 24 here. <laughs> we're going to we're going to start here at verse 3. Uh, 24 3 Matthew. Later, Jesus sat on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. <laughs> His disciples came to him privately and asked, When will all this take place? And will there be any sign ahead of time to signal your return in the end of the world? <laughs> Jesus told them, Don't let anyone mislead you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah. They will lead many astray, and wars will break out near and far, but don't panic. Yes, these things must come, but the end won't follow immediately. The nations and kingdoms will proclaim war against each other, and there will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world, but all this will only be the beginning of the horrors to come. And we've been seeing these for several years already, okay? Then you will be arrested, persecuted, killed. You will be hated all over the world because of your allegiance to me. And many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. We're already into this. And many false prophets, yeah, will appear and will lead many people astray. We're already into this. Sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. Check. Sorry. <laughs> but those who endure to the end will be saved. And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world so that all the nations will hear it. And then finally the end will come. Okay. And it goes on, you know, telling, you know, you know, about how it will be, you know, the, the harpazo, the rapture of the bride, we are leaving, y'all. We are leaving. Yes, we are. You know, I love y'all so much. You know, and we're not going to be part of this coexistence nonsense. No, we're not. We have been set apart by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. 
We're not going to stand behind these world leaders. We don't even know who they all are. But I can tell you, I've done my research on the royal family, and they are Luciferians. This is just a fact. Uh, they inbreed for their, bro their uh, royal line, okay? Uh, that's just facts, you know. I've done my research. Um, it, it's just so evil, wicked, y'all. I can just barely take it in every day, the things that I'm that I'm witnessing, that I share with y'all, you know, I love you, and we're not going to be deceived, and we are not going to fear them. They can't do anything to us, okay, that the Lord wouldn't allow, okay? We belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? And He is our blessed assurance. Yes, He is. You know, I think there was something like 300 earthquakes in the last, uh, 24 hours coming out of Kilauea volcano, okay, 300 in 24 hours. Also, I don't know if you heard about it, but now I guess uh, it spewed out a bunch of uh, very rare gems out of the earth uh, known as uh, Peridot. Uh, it's a green gem, very pure very pure, and uh, I guess it's just covered everything, uh, this green, just gems out of the earth, you know, um, it's just craziness, there was a massive explosion, um, I believe it's uh, southwestern Kansas, down by Wichita somewhere, a major pipeline explosion, um, gas pipeline explosion in uh, Heston, Kansas earlier, okay? Um, I believe all these earthquakes and around the ring of fire and uh, the volcanoes, you know, it's, it's shifting the plates and stuff, okay? And uh, therefore, you know, things that they've done underground and you know, they've made America look like Swiss cheese, literally. If you have never watched uh, Dutch Sense. He's all about earthquakes. I, you know, I suggest, you know, you watch uh, one or two of his earthquake updates, okay? He'll show you on Google Maps. I mean, there are thousands upon thousands of pumping operations in this land. You know, they just steal, you know, steal all this you know, it, it's believed that we've got something like um, uh, 500 years worth of oil and fuel to last here in this nation. 500 years worth. So why do we need to keep pumping, you know, all of God's riches out of his earth, okay? For profit, for greed, okay? And it's messing up his creation, okay it's making us all sick you know all these gases and all these fumes and all this stuff that they're you know spewing into our atmosphere on their global climate change nonsense spraying aluminum and barium into the sky to reflect to deflect the sun from the earth that's what they're doing you know and all this nonsense it's just, it's just so wicked evil, y'all. I just, some days, I just cannot hardly take it. But um, we're going to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He said he's coming. He's coming. Yes, he is. I heard a story last night on uh, Kansas City News. Um, there were two major uh, police uh, calls just right around the 4 o'clock, I believe it was, around the 4, 4.30 hour. Uh, right before rush hour, okay, uh, one was in uh, uh, Kansas City area, a woman, uh, pl uh, neighbors called 911, saw a woman running down the street with a sword, yes, I said a sword, and they called 911, because it's not every day you see a crazy woman running down the street with a sword, well, she ran into some somebody's house, okay, and the police did show up, 
And as soon as they surrounded this house, the woman took off running back into the backyard and hid inside this woman's shed and barricaded herself up in there. Well, they shot her dead. She refused to come out of the shed. She had the sword. They killed her. Okay. Well, just right, you know, within, I guess, 30 minutes or so, there was another... Uh, uh, police 911 call to uh, Barney Ellis Plaza. It's, you know, it's kind of an upscale type of place, shops and things of that nature in the Kansas City area. Uh, the initial call, you know, two men fighting over a gun and a golf cart. Yes, a gun and a golf cart. Don't know all the details. Probably never know. Okay? But the police shot both of them dead, okay, dead, over one gun and a golf cart. Um, I, uh, you know, Jesus said lawlessness, lawlessness would abound, okay. We don't have to fear it, you know, I'm sure many of you are much like myself. I go out during the day, I get what I need, you know, if there's anything I need, I go get it, get it as quickly as possible, I get back home, you know. I don't want to be out when the proverbial, you know what, hits the fan. I, yeah, 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 you know, I'm not going to be caught out in, you know, searching for food, searching for water. You know, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. We know sudden destruction is coming. Could it come here? You bet you it could come here. Okay? America has turned their back on God. The majority of America has. And they follow after false teachings, false preachings, New Age mystic stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just diabolical. You know? Supposedly, 83% of this land believes in Jesus Christ as their Savior. Well, I tell you what, if 83% believed in my Jesus, in your Jesus, this nation wouldn't be what it is right now, okay? Um, I love you all. Stand strong in the faith. Jesus loves us, and he is coming. Yes, he is. Behold, I am coming quickly. Glory, hallelujah, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever happens, if there is some sort of a massive type disaster in this land, please don't trust the government, okay? You're best on your own, okay? Best on your own, you and the Lord, period, okay? Just don't trust them. There's FEMA camps set up all over this land. Uh, last count, I think it was 850 of them, okay? Stay away from Walmart, and if any of you work at Walmart, don't leave me any nasty notes, okay? Known fact, Walmart has a um, contract with the Department of Justice in case of any types of emergencies, and they will be the call centers where people will be sent in the tribulation. I've done my research, okay? So, whatever happens, stay out of Walmart, okay? Don't go with the government. You're best on your own. I love you all. God bless you all. Maranatha Saints.